This is Otabo. We are made in Africa. And so I've been sitting down lately in my room and uh, I've been asking what about the superpowers, you know, the nations, the countries who said they are the world superpowers? What happened to your bombs? What happened to your guns? Fire! What happened to your warships? Your weapons of mass destruction? What happened to your chemical weapons? What happened to your cutlass, your hooves, your arrows, your daggers, your knives? How come, how come none of that can save you now? How come um, the presidents, the governors, the senators, the kings, the royalties, and everybody who think they have the power that is above the almighty power, how come every one of them is hiding? How come they are all hiding under their house? School is shut down. Where are the pastors? How come you can't come out and perform miracles? Because the church is shut down. Where are the imams? Where are the afars? How come your mosque is closed? doctors that saves lives how come they're trying so hard but somehow they still can't find answers to these problems everybody's at home all business shut down the sport business shut down education shut down hospitals shutting down church shut down mosque shut down government shut down how come, where are all of you, everyone who think they have, they are, every human that's always have the mindset, like they, they control, all of you who think you control things, where are you now? When God showed himself, when God says, I am God, I have the power to create this world, and I have the power to put a stop to everything. Everything has stopped, everything is shut down. Now we are all sitting in our houses, in our rooms, hiding and thinking from just washing our hands, we can be saved. No, washing your hands can save you. Now, j just the other day, I heard Donald Trump bombed Iran. And I heard Iran was going to fight back. And then we were scared. It's going to be World War. North Korea better get their act together or they're going to be in trouble like few nations ever have been in trouble in this world. And just the other day, I heard another country called North Korea was busy testing chemical weapons and testing weapons of mass destruction. something to fight the enemy they can see war themselves right <laughs> but guess what now there's a war there's a real war going on 
we are, we are fighting an enemy we can't even see. So much, so much um, unappropriate and ungodly things going around in the world. God has finally shown himself that he has the power to put an end to what he has created. So I hope every one of us can learn from this and start embracing God, embracing our faith, turning around make it turn around from all our mistakes, all our errors and ask God for his mercy, his love only the love of God only the love of God can save us only God's love there is nothing else but why God why was seeking for God's love and asking him to love us again and save us and come for us we must start loving ourselves we must ask God to teach us to love Beg for his forgiveness, ask him to love us and teach us to love ourselves and love our brothers, our neighbors so we can free ourselves from so much hate and embrace love when we love ourselves when Nigeria can love Ghana Ghana can love South Africa South Africa can love us back and we can love every African country back when America can love Iraq, Iraq can love Afghanistan, Afghanistan can love China, China can love Russia. The world embraces love. I'm afraid what's going to happen next. First it was Ebola, now it's coronavirus. If we don't change, if we don't reroute our step and embrace love and embrace God and His mercy, I'm afraid what's going to happen next. Let go of hate and 